is our first match in the uh, finals, round of 16. Fred Kazmarczyk, Kazmarczyk. This is the number four qualifier. He's bowling Jeff Frankos, who was 13th. It's a good thing Freddie made that spare, or else that would have been embarrassing. There he is. We'll watch Jeff throw a shot. Next match is PJ Haggerty from Clovis, California, right outside Fresno. PJ was the 12th qualifier. And his opponent in the first round is Dave Watka. Southern California guy. I think he still lists Chatsworth as his home. Okay, our next match is featured Stephen Black out of Phoenix. Stephen was the number eight qualifier. He's bowling Corey Husted out of Milwaukee, Oregon, who was the number nine qualifier yesterday after the finals. down the road a little ways. Top seated person, Wayne Garber, out of Modesto. Jim was our 16th seed. Has the dubious task of trying to take on Mr. Garber. There's a good shot. Everybody will say Cheetah Specialist. He has really made his game versatile. Cashing and damn near winning on any condition, any time. Smoking it up the twig. He got himself to the final game last weekend at Malala, Oregon on the Cheetah. He told me he needed a ball change. Ran all through the tournament with one ball, worked well, and just couldn't get some carry going the last game and slipped to third. Lost a chance at that title, but he's here trying to put one away. But he's not gonna make that mistake twice. a seven. Very nice. Curtis Woods Jr. from the uh, area. Local product. Striking at will. Now owns and operates the pro shop in uh, Classic Lanes. City. Sorry, our resident pro host here at Roner Park he puts this tournament on, gets a lot of sponsors, a lot of players to come out, helps uh, the local center buy this tournament. Without Curtis's help, we wouldn't get to come here every year. Of course, without the Decker, Jim Decker, and Double Decker Lanes, but Curtis is a big, big part of this. Gone. And 
his map, he is bowling Chris Hillman from the Fremont Hillman Bowling family. Cloverleaf Plains. Chris has become a very solid player in the regionals. Seemingly making the cut virtually every time he shows up. Lots of match plays. Okay. Curtis is going to go down the first game. He finished strong. Shoots a two. But he's getting lined up. Actually, only going to be able to shoot. Chris is going to sneak a win out on this one. Chris threw a great shot, but the fast eight was a little bit high, and it cost him the match. 